From Washington getting tough to bots learning brain surgery, this is Generation AI. Foxconn and NVIDIA are teaming up. The tech giants say they will build a new kind of data center using the US firm's chips. NVIDIA boss Jensen Huang calls them AI factories. This is a factory that takes data input and produce intelligence as an output. He says they'll continuously process data from electric vehicles to make them smarter. The U.S. has set new limits on exports of advanced AI chips and other semiconductors to China. The curbs are also extended to countries including Russia and Iran. Washington says it's to slow China's military development, but Beijing says it's really meant to suppress Chinese companies. AI is helping to train brain surgeons in the UK. A system developed at University College London highlights critical structures in the brain to bring them to surgeons' attention. Hanny Marcus is a consultant neurosurgeon. What this practically entails is us training the AI with hundreds of videos, telling it, if you like, what structures are what, and then at some point over that period, the AI becomes really good itself at recognizing things, and able to support other surgeons who are perhaps less experienced uh, in advising them what to do next. China's Baidu is fighting back in its battle with OpenAI. It's unveiled an updated chatbot meant to match ChatGPT. Boss Robin Lee showed Ernie 4.0 writing a martial arts novel, among other feats. But analysts said the new iteration lacked dramatic upgrades. And generative AI firms are now the biggest source of unicorns, startups valued at over $1 billion. Venture capital firm Excel crunched the numbers. It says Europe shows signs of closing the gap with the US on funding for new AI projects.